Hello, I'm Dr. Bruce DiNardo here in the Physics Department of the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. A loudspeaker converts electrical energy into acoustic energy. Here is a commercially available electrostatic loudspeaker. In this video, we will explain and demonstrate how an electrostatic loudspeaker works. In another video, we explain and demonstrate a conventional loudspeaker. The principle of an electrostatic loudspeaker is fundamentally different. The basic idea of an electrostatic loudspeaker is shown in this diagram. A large, thin, flexible membrane, or diaphragm, lies between two rigid metal plates that are perforated. The diaphragm is covered with a very thin layer of metal. Even then, it is transparent, as you can see. The diaphragm and plates are oppositely charged with a constant voltage. The total charge is zero. Each plate attracts the diaphragm with an equal but oppositely directed force. The total force on the diaphragm is then zero, so it is unflexed. But this changes when an audio signal is connected across the plates. One plate, let's say plate A, momentarily has a greater negative charge while plate B momentarily has a less negative charge. So, compared to equilibrium, the diaphragm is more attracted to A and less attracted to B. The effect is that there is a push-pull action, which flexes the diaphragm away from plate B and toward plate A with twice the force of a single plate. When the audio signal changes sign, the diaphragm flexes in the opposite direction. The resultant oscillatory motion generates sound, and we have a loudspeaker. Electrostatic loudspeakers are essentially the reverse of capacitive microphones, which are very common. Incoming sound causes a diaphragm to flex, which produces a change in voltage between the diaphragm and a single plate. This next figure shows a circuit diagram for an electrostatic loudspeaker. To generate sound of sufficient amplitude, kilovolts, or thousands of volts, are required. The audio signal is amplified with a transformer and connected across the metal plates. Even though thousands of volts are used, there is no danger of a shock because the current is small. The circuit is not obvious. If you're interested, you may want to hit pause and study it. This is a homemade electrostatic loudspeaker made by research engineer Jay Adef here at the Naval Postgraduate School. It uses materials that you can purchase at any hardware store. The diaphragm is aluminized mylar, similar to what is used for helium-filled party balloons. The shiny side is the aluminized side. Thin strips of vinyl electrical tape prevent the mylar from touching the perforated rigid aluminum plates, but still allow it to vibrate when the audio signal is applied to the driver. Let's demonstrate the commercial electrostatic loudspeaker. We will listen to music composed and conducted by Bernard Herrmann for the original version of the movie The Day the Earth Stood Still. Unless you are listening with an electrostatic loudspeaker, which is unlikely, you cannot tell that the mid to high frequency sound dramatically comes from the entire large area of the diaphragm. In addition, the sound has very little distortion and is very crisp. This quick response occurs because the diaphragm is lightweight and is driven over its entire area. Electrostatic loudspeakers fail for low frequencies due to the small displacement of the diaphragm. Hence, hybrids are nearly always constructed with a conventional low frequency woofer. The electrostatic loudspeaker is an excellent physics demonstration. We use it in courses on electromagnetism and transduction and also for presentations of acoustics demonstrations. The cost was $1,250 for just a single loudspeaker, which is one of the reasons why electrostatic loudspeakers are not common. Another reason is that they are large and heavy. An electrostatic loudspeaker 
works in a fundamentally different way than a conventional loudspeaker. A thin, electrically charged diaphragm flexes between two perforated charge plates when a high voltage audio signal is applied to the plates. This flexing produces the sound. Electrostatic loudspeakers have their own advantages and disadvantages compared to conventional loudspeakers. The main advantage is that the mid to high frequency sound is very faithfully reproduced. The main disadvantage is that they are expensive for most people. Physics lecture demonstrations are always fascinating and the quest for them never ends. This is the physics department of the Naval Postgraduate School and I'm Dr. Bruce DiNardo. Thank you.